What is going on guys and I am now on spring break so I'll be able to upload a lot more videos and play a little bit more and um, I'm going to start off my next few videos of ideas for Modern Warfare 3. I think this is about the right time to start making these kind of videos even though it does seem kind of early and Modern Warfare 3 didn't come that uh, come out that long ago but I think it's good to start uh, the Black Ops 2 ideas and uh, you know get my thoughts and opinions because you know they're going to start making the game and you know trying to uh, get the gist of it and they're, they're probably already underway I'm assuming they're already underway they're usually underway after Modern for 3 releases so I think this is about the right time just for the community to step up and say what they want to see and hear and have in the game so I'm guessing this will take about two to three videos to get everything I want because I'm gonna go into detail somewhat and I kind of I looked at Wings of Redemption's video from last year when Black Ops was out and he was giving his Modern Warfare 3 ideas and you know it kind of uh, inspired me to do this so let's get underway shall we something I found really um, that that's I don't know I find it I find it kind of surprising I guess you could say is that the game chat in this uh, Modern Warfare 3 is exactly the same as Modern Warfare 2 and they took a big step back from what Black Ops had because Black Ops had good sound quality game chat there wasn't mics cutting out every couple seconds mics making funny noises and you know everyone didn't sound like a robot because you know Modern Warfare 3 in the lobbies if you're in game chat everyone sounds like robots for some reason they kind of have like that weird techno voice kind of thing but Black Ops did it right, so I'd like to see when Black Ops 2 comes out that they have the game chat properly fixed and it sounds good. Next thing is that I want this to be a really big part of, um, you know, I think Treyarch's already done this before and they are coming out the next Call of Duty, is that the quick fixes and the, you know, players not being able to cheat is always a big thing. You know, Modern Warfare series... I don't know, Modern Warfare 2 is big for hacking, that's when hacking became uh, popular in the Call of Duty series, and as soon as Black Ops came out, they stopped it, they said, you know what, they're hammering down on that, and they're saying, nope, there's going to be no more of this, we want a well-balanced game, and personally, that's why Treyarch is the dominant community, uh, they, you know, they listen to everything, and they're uh, better supporting on their game, in my personal opinion, and, uh, that's uh, something I think that Treyarch will be able to capture again, as well as banning players I think is another good thing, even though I did get banned in Modern Warfare 3 for doing a token glitch, um, you know, it, it wasn't, I wasn't too worried about it, you know, it's not a big deal, so, it's a good thing that Modern Warfare 3 did that, but I hope Treyarch still follows up with that in Black Ops 2, which I believe they will because they are pretty much the ones who started the banning players and the cheaters and the hackers and stuff, so, they're really good at it, I don't think I ever saw any hackers in um, Black Ops so uh, yeah, the next thing is that the leaderboard system. The leaderboard system sucks in Modern Warfare 3. There's no way to tell who play. Sorry, who's the best players, who has the best score per minute, who's getting the most kills, wins in a week. It's just the leaderboards are all based on who has the highest score, which is really means who plays the most. So who's the biggest no life? And uh, also, when you're in games such as Domination or Demolition, it doesn't show you how many plants, defends. Um, captures you have it just shows deaths kills and assists and your score so i hope they advance and uh you know make the leaderboard system a bit better so it shows your score per minute because i know black ops was uh a lot of people really like that and uh, a lot of people played just for their score per minute so hopefully the leaderboards are a bit better in black ops i'm hoping they will so stuff that i want to see modern warfare 3 carry over now, I want to see Specialist come back, because Specialist was a great idea. One of the best ideas, if not the best idea, Modern Warfare 3 had, in my personal opinion. It is a super, super fun um, point streak to uh, have. And also, I want it to, uh, I don't want there to be a Moab, because I feel like that's just a Modern Warfare series exclusive, and that, you know, only Modern Warfare titles should be able to have it. Um, purely because, you know, that's all Modern Warfare 3 has been. Um, Modern Warfare 2, the nuke, Modern Warfare 3, the Moab. And Black Ops has never really, or Treyarch's never really had a big dominant kill streak. So I feel that they should just uh, not have the Moab, but still have Specialist. You know, it wouldn't be a big deal if they did have it. I just prefer if it just stick to a Modern Warfare thing because that is kind of like their trademark. But, you know, it's not a big deal either way. But Specialist has got to stay because I love using Specialist. Uh, I think it's a really fun play style, and uh, I enjoy having all my perks and proficiencies, which leads me to my next thing. Gun proficiency should be back for Black Ops 2. 
strictly because there's only certain proficiencies that I liked and they worked to my advantage in my play style and they made me a better player and also the fact that you can rank up your weapon is pretty cool I'm not really uh, sure if I want the uh, whole ranking up of the weapon um, I don't really care either way the proficiencies could work into that either way but you could either just unlock them from uh, you know getting more headshots or kills with the gun or leveling it up or you could, uh, I'm not sure if they're bringing the credit system back, like the COD points. I'm not sure if they're going to do that or not. But if they do, then you just buy all your stuff. So either way, I'm not, um, there's no problem with the proficiency, sorry, with the leveling up system or the buying stuff or unlocking it. You know what I mean with the COD points. But this is pretty much the end of this video. Uh, I believe there will be another two videos um, to finish this Modern Warfare 3, sorry, Black Ops uh ideas and thoughts but anyways guys hopefully you guys enjoyed leave some thoughts what you guys like to see for black ops